Okay, I'm gonna call the meeting to order. Um, license hearing in public safety, May 25th, 2022. Um, roll call, Alder Person Betty Ackley. Here. Alder Person Dean Decker. Here. Um, Alder Person Joe Heideman is excused. Alder Person Amanda Salazar. Here. And Alder Person Barb Feldy, I am here. Okay, um, Pledge of Allegiance, stand if you're able. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Um, introduction of committee members. All right, Amanda, we'll start with you. And um, Sure. Hi, I'm uh, Alder Person Amanda Salazar, District 3. Dean Decker, all person District 6. Chuck Adams, City Attorney. Dave Feldy. Lieutenant <laughs> Bill Adams, Point Police Department. Kathy Hoffman, City Attorney's Office. Barb Feldy, Alder Person District 1 and Chair of the Committee. And Betty Ackley, Alder Person District 4, Vice Chair of the Committee. Okay. All right, we're on to number five, approval of the minutes from May 11th, 2022. I make a motion to approve. Second. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. Chair says aye. Motion approved. Items for discussion and possible action. General order number six. General ordinance number 122-23-516-22. An ordinance amending the rule contained in section 74 through 56 of the municipal code re regarding alcohol possession mm -hmm. and consumption in parks mm -hmm. so as to more clearly provide for possession and consumption of beer and wine while maintaining a prohibition on liquor. So this issue came up because uh, when we had a license come through that wanted to serve wine in the park. The ordinance as it was written didn't clearly allow it. And yet we've come to learn that it had happened uh, many times. So uh, we decided that the best thing to do was just to fix the ordinance to make it clear. Um, and so that's what's what's been done. Uh, it, it, so there are two basic changes. One is in sub E that just includes uh, the fact that they can serve and permit the consumption of beer and wine in a park if they have a temporary class B uh, license. Uh, and then F talks about like it bans certain types of containers in the park and unless uh, they are, you know, in, unless the group or organization is bringing them in. So you can't like bring your own to an event. And, and then again, makes it clear that beer and wine is allowed to be brought into the event in these various containers by the groups but not by anybody else so that's that's it um chuck does do they get when people rent you know one of the park sites do they get some rules for it you know what they can and can't do so renting a park site is a little bit different than what we're talking about here, here. Um, when you rent a park site, I don't know what they get, but there are there are some parks that allow alcohol. So if you rent the park where alcohol is allowed, you can go there. There are other parks that don't. This ordinance relates to the parks where alcohol is normally not allowed, but says that an organization that gets a picnic license from the city to go to that location can serve beer or wine at that location. So uh, as an example, the lobster boil, That'll be later this summer in Fountain Park. Fountain Park is normally a park where we do not allow alcohol, but we'll give them a license. They want to serve wine. This this actually came up to make sure that the lobster boil is all legal, um, although it'll affect others as well. Okay. Are there any other questions? Okay, looking for a motion. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'll make a motion to approve. I'll second. Any discussion? Okay, all those in favor say aye. Aye. 
Opposed, nay. Chair votes aye. Motion passes. Number seven, RO number 14, 22, 23, 5, 16, 22 by city clerk submitting various license applications, business. So uh, this is one of the few ROs during the year that you'll actually see a lot on um, because this is the most, most of it is the renewals of liquor licenses uh, that happens every year at this time. Uh, and so I'm going to walk through one at a time the things that are different. And then at the end, there'll be a motion to approve the remainder of the licenses. So the first one, it's license number 3540 being applied for by North Shore Property Management Inc. Uh, this is a new uh, uh, class A beer license. Uh, it was on the RO incorrectly. It was listed as a class B liquor license, but it's not. Um, what they're asking for is a class A beer license. And so the motion would be to approve giving them a class A beer license. This is gonna be a little shop on the South Pier um, where people can get like surfboards and stuff that they'll also uh, sell beer at that location. So you South to, Pier. Yeah. South Pier. Okay. So do you want us to make a separate motion right now? For the I think, I think, yeah, I think it's gonna be easier to do the each with I'll, I'll make a motion to approve the class A license. <clears throat> Second. Class, yeah, class A. Class A. Okay, is there any other discussion? Okay, all those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Chair votes aye. Motion passes. Okay, now uh, licenses number 2984 and 3362. These are licenses, uh, uh, one is a class A, one is a class B, that's being issued to J Marketing LLC. And what we're saying is they should be granted contingent on correction of the described premises so that the premises don't overlap. What, what happened is this is one of the businesses where they divided it in half uh, and they changed, they, they included that on the, on the newer of the two licenses, but on the older one where it used to cover the whole thing, they didn't change it. Can't have both in the same place. Uh, and so that is, um, that we're recommending approving with that contingency. Okay, what, so what, are, what is the separate? Is it like is it separate businesses on the same it's, premises? Yeah, it's 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 one of these little gas station restaurant things. J Marketing okay. is um, seventeen ten Indiana. That's that's um, the little Indian restaurant in a oh yeah BP seventeenth in Indiana. Okay. Okay. So one's one's to. One is a class A uh, beer license, meaning that they can sell it for a mini mart. For like a mini mart. And then the other is a um, class B, I think in this case it is a class B beer only. Okay. And so then they can sell beer with their Indian food. Right. Okay. I'll make a motion to approve. Second. Is there any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Chair votes aye. Motion passes. Next one is a similar situation, 3243 and 3531 uh, being issued to Harbor Petroleum LLC. This is uh, Harbor Petroleum, I believe is 905 Indiana. Yep, 905 Indiana. Uh, they're asking for a class A beer and cider only uh, on sort of on the, um, on the mini mart side. And then on the restaurant side, it's a class B um, beer, I believe. Class A means you can take out of right. the premise, correct? Yes. Correct. Class A is like a liquor store. Yeah. Class B is like a restaurant. Both of these are beer only, or one of them is beer and cider, I think, but okay. neither of them is liquor. And they just need to, again, make sure that their two premises are separate and don't open. Um, there were some concerns with this group applying for the liquor license, correct? Right, but this is not a liquor license. This is beer only. Okay. So um, we don't really have a basis, we don't think, to deny uh, the license. Uh, it, but yeah, I mean, the, one of the issues with, with a number of these is that there's some question about whether, you know, are these really restaurants or are they more 
gambling machine in Porian places. Yes, uh, right. So, I got to get out more. Yeah. <laughs> so, so it Do you have any comments, officer? Um, probably, I don't know that, like Chuck said, I don't know that there's any Thing issues? we can do to deny it. Uh, no, I, I see plenty of issues with that. I don't know that there's anything we can do. <laughs> uh, okay. You know how, like, with a liquor license, sorry, I'm going to ask another question. With a liquor license, um, there's like limitations of what your sales are, right? If you go over food, it becomes a different type of license. Does that apply to B and A's? So, what we're talking about when we talk about percentage of food. That has to do with the underage on premises restrictions. <coughs> so, um, so yes, if someone is, if someone holds a Class B okay. license, of whether it's beer or liquor, um, if 50% uh, of their total sales comes from food, they qualify as a restaurant, and they don't have to obey the underage. The, there's an exemption from the okay. underage persons, but it does have to be 50% food, not some pe some of them think it's more food than alcohol, but that's actually not the case, which is why, um, for example, a number of years ago, um, a place that Angler. Marie sometimes works, yeah, Angler, Angler's Avenue actually had to kind of divide up. They were one of the first to do that division. Uh, it's a little different than what these gas stations are, but they split the bait and tackle from the restaurant. They wanted to do it all both, but the problem was is that when you add up beer, food and bait and tackle food wasn't going to add up to 50 percent which is why they uh -huh. then designed it the way they did sure. they did it right yeah. but um but right. that's that's and that's probably that system is what probably gave the idea to some of these others to do what they're doing um although in slightly different ways <laughs> so but does it account for to, um, for the revenue, would the gambling, the money they make up the gambling machines be included in that? Yeah, gambling machine money has to be included in that. So if they're making, now here's the thing, are they, are they really legally making any money from gambling machines and how do they report that? Those are issues that law enforcement really has to kind of deal with and monitor. No, with the, with the bees though, they're, they're, are they, are they, are they aren't allowed to have the correct way. With, with this particular one, they aren't allowed to have the gambling machine. Thought was the, it was right. an issue. They have to have a full liquor license or full, you know, full bar license in order to be able to. Well, they're not allowed to have them at which A's or B's. It's one of the two. A's you cannot. B's, I think yeah. you can. B's, you can. That's my understanding. A is a gas station one. Right. right. You cannot have them there. That's not. That's why they're creating these little B's right. next door, just oh. because they can have them on the food side. It's like, what? But there does have to be a complete separation. Gas station. Yeah, they have to be a separate. But they're separate premises, separate entrances, all that. Yeah. Okay. Thank oh. you. So okay. next one is uh, license thirty thirty four. Uh, oh, we didn't do the motion. Oh, okay. yeah, we didn't do the finish the motion. Okay. Is there any more discussion? Yeah. Can I make motion. Oh, we got that. All in favor, say aye. aye. We didn't. Right. Nobody oh, made the motion. Yeah, keep what is the motion? Sorry. Yeah. Motion to approve. Yeah. Okay. Or staff. With the contingency, uh, I'll I'll make the motion to approve the staff contingencies. Second. Second. So a motion and a second. Any more discussion needed? Okay. All in favor, say aye. 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 Opposed, nay. I voted aye also. So motion passes. Okay. Right. License thirty number number thirty thirty four is being issued to Family Entertainment LLC. Um, and the only issue there is they, they just had needed to pr uh, appoint a proper successor agent. And our recommendation is that you grant the license contingent on their doing that paperwork. Okay. I'll make a motion uh, to grant for staff for recommendations for successor agent. Second. Discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Chair votes aye. Motion passes. Uh, license 3018 is being issued to the owners of Bo VN Restaurant, Tina Nguyen and Karen Pham. Uh, and there were just a couple of issues there that they had to fix too. So we're recommending that the license be granted uh, contingent on receipt by the city clerk of the completed application, which includes needed information about whether it's an individual or a partnership that's owning it. Uh, and then uh, a seller's permit form. 
needs to be turned in, but we're recommending granting contingent and receiving those things. So is this just, just a, was there a change of ownership or is this just kind of mixed up from before? Because we didn't have the entire form, it wasn't clear what's actually happening. And so that's that's why we need that the rest of it filled out. If they're gonna if it's gonna be a change from I don't remember what it was last time, they'll have to do the right paperwork for that, but it'll all be approved contingent on their doing. Okay. And this is this a liquor or or a... uh I believe Fabienne has Beer, yeah, it's beer. It's beer only. Okay. Yeah. Okay, I'll make a motion to approve with staff recommendations. A second. Any more discussion? All those in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Chair votes aye. Motion passes. License 3254 being issued to Bookworm Gardens Inc. Uh, the license should be granted contingent upon receipt of a remaining auxiliary questionnaire from a newly appointed officer. They had a change in officer. We just need a form. I can't. I need to. Uh, yeah, you got to yeah. abstain. Yes. Okay. 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 I'll make a motion with uh, to uh, approve with staff recommendations again. That's all. Second. Any more discussion? Okay, all those in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed, oppose nay. Uh, chair votes aye. Motion passes. All right. Uh, then uh, license 1089 being issued to Dave's who's in. Uh, we're recommending that the license be granted contingent on his continued following of requirements imposed by staff upon the operations of the tavern in lieu of filing a revocation proceeding against the license. Just to give you a little bit of background here. Uh, there have been some issues at the tavern. Uh, as a committee, uh, as a staff committee, we met and we imposed a number of uh, uh, punishments on him, penalties on him, including he had to be shut down for 30 days. Uh, he's got a number of other things that he's going to continue to have to do, and we're recommending that the license be granted contingent on his continuing to follow those rules. Bill, I don't know if you. You probably have a better memory of exactly what all the rules were, but there were quite a few of them. <laughs> right. Yeah, I didn't bring the list of them, unfortunately. Uh, but there are a number of things, such as his staff should not be drinking while they're on duty, um, having an ID scanner that also takes a photo of the person presenting the ID, so that you know oh, yeah, yeah. it helps you know curb some of the you know passing off IDs to other people. Uh, no weapons on premises. Um, using a, a wand, a metal detecting wand on patrons coming in uh, to the premises. Um, those were the big ones. Uh, no underage people, no intoxicated people on premises. Um, those were the, those oh, are the uh, continued participation in the Tavern Safety Coalition and following their guidelines, which he has done. Um, I think that's pretty much Those it. are the yeah, main things. Yeah. I was gonna say, how long does he have to do this? I think we, we did we make it to like a whole year? I don't know that it specifies, I think it's kind of open-ended. It might be okay, open-ended, so might be, be forever. For the, so like for at least for the duration of this license? It will be for the duration of this license with right. this vote, yeah. Okay, good, all right. Um, is it, what, is there, what were the, some of the specifics, some, some of the, did he, were, were there some like weapons violations that people had in the in the Yeah, so, he, uh, Dave Susan was already under a chronic nuisance with the police department because of uh, a lot of the calls that were happening. We had a couple of weapons related calls uh, last year. What kind of, so while he was still under that chronic nuisance, there were a couple of events that happened over the holidays that uh, caused us to reevaluate and then impose this uh, or, or offer this um, 30 day suspension, voluntary suspension in, in lieu of uh, revocation hearing. And he, chose that so there had you know we had been working with him at the police department through the chronic nuisance process and then because some of those issues still were not being addressed uh, the committee took up that is there a follow-up to this i mean do you check to make sure he's got everything checked off before he's allowed to open or um are you just going to do some spot checks after so the the 30 day suspension period has already expired so he has recollected his license and he's open again and third shift officers they generally deal with the taverns for the most part and yeah. they have officers assigned to every tavern in the city 
uh, and they do regular inspections, and they're all familiar with the requirements. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Any other questions or comments? Looking for a motion. I uh, sound like a motion to uh, approve with uh, staff recommendations. Second. Okay. Um, all in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Chair votes aye. Passes. Next one is license number 3333 being issued to the Kohler Company. Uh, we're asking that this one be held pending a request for them uh, to make an application for an extension of the requirements of the continuation of business ordinance. So basically they need to come to you and ask to be extended. This is a little bit different than some of the other ones because this is one of those $10,000 reserve licenses, which we're not as short on, uh, but we feel like because we have the ordinance that says you still have to do this, we think they should come to you. It may not require sort of the same restrictions. You, you could probably grant it for a whole nother year. Um, and they probably should be coming back every year to do this uh, until they actually open or until such time as we start running out of $10,000 reserve licenses, in which case you may want to take a different action. But so Kohler Company is opening in Sheboygan, the city of Sheboygan? This is in the golf on the golf course that they want to build. So oh. they, they, they got a liquor license for their golf course and oh. they chose to get it right away. I think with the idea being they wanted to have everything buttoned up so they'd be ready to go once everything else settled. Um, but of course, yeah. they're in all sorts of litigation. Uh -huh. Don't they have to use it within so much time or that, that's what lose it? We're telling them they need to come in and ask you for an extension. Okay. Because it is a reserve $10,000 li license and beca because even though we do have restrictions on the number of those, we're nowhere near that restriction and we're, we hardly have anybody come in and ask for those licenses. Um, we don't need to be as restrictive as we were. If they were just, if they were here on a, on a regular 500 and some dollar license, uh, they would have already lost it because six months right. and, you, and then you guys will generally give, you know, maybe another month or two or whatever, but, um, this is a little bit different because of the type of license. Oh. motion on that. Motion. Hold. Hold. Second. Any more discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Chair votes aye. Aye pass. Next one is another hold. Uh, this is license 2301 applied for by One More Time LLC. This is Mojo Tavern. Uh, and we're requesting that this license be held as well, pending a hearing by you uh, regarding uh, the staff's decision to recommend that the committee not renew the license. Uh, so our, out of our committee, we determined that they should not be renewed because they um, are not meeting the continuation of business ordinances and have not requested, despite our conversations with him, uh, an extension of the requirements. He obviously has different feelings about that and uh, he requested that he have a hearing and that hearing will happen. Two weeks. Well, it would normally be three weeks, but we'll talk about that. At the okay. Yeah, okay. 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 Um, it hasn't been opened actually for probably almost two years now. It's, it's yeah, they, they did get opened a couple of times this week or something like about that. About this time, uh, I don't remember exactly when it was, but last around sometime last year, we dealt with him and he provided an us, us enough evidence to show that he had opened briefly, like on a Sunday during a Packer game and had 15, 20 people. This time he tried to provide us some evidence that he might have been open recently, but the evidence, I, I don't want, you guys are going to have to decide whether that evidence is sufficient. Okay. We didn't, the staff didn't think it was, he thinks it is. You guys will get to decide. Okay. Okay. Any other questions? Do we have to do any action on this? Um, motion to hold. This is more, okay. Motion, motion to hold. hold yeah. Motion to hold. Second. Any more discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Chair votes aye. Next we'll one. hold that one. 
Next one is 3504, a license being issued to Streamers 2 LLC. Uh, we're recommending you grant the license, but contingent on receipt of one remaining auxiliary questionnaire from an officer. Just missing one. Uh, make a motion to approve uh, contingent on staff recommendation. Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Chair votes aye. Uh, next one is uh, license uh, 1337 being issued to the Sheboygan Elks Lodge number 299 Benevolent Association. This license should be granted uh, contingent on receipt of a remaining auxiliary questionnaire from the newly appointed office. This is a new officer just need to get there. Motion to approve the license be granted upon receipt or remaining auxiliary questionnaire from the newly appointed officer. Okay. <laughs> All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed nay. Chair votes aye. I want pass it. Uh, 3307 uh, being issued to Umi Sushi and Steakhouse Inc. That license should also be granted contingent on receipt of a remaining auxiliary questionnaire from an officer. Just where their officers didn't turn it in yet. Motion to grant contingent upon receipt of a remaining auxiliary questionnaire from an officer. <laughs> Second. <laughs> All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Chair votes aye. There we go. Then as to license 3250 being issued to Final Quest LLC, this license should be denied because there isn't a license to renew. Uh, so it, it's a little bit of a weird situation, but what happened is two weeks ago, you guys approved the transfer of this license from Final Quest LLC to J LLC. So this is Basuda Vatakari owns some gas stations and things. He bought the work zone tavern down on the far, far south side. And you guys approved that um, two weeks ago. Um, for some reason, Kurt Hins chose to put in a renewal even after that, but because the transfer had already occurred, I think he was just like being super, super right. careful. Right. But we can't grant it. So and so and they're they're actually Jay's renewal is also on here. He can't do both. So it's just going to be to deny Final Quest LLC. Technically, we'll have to send him a letter saying he got denied, and he'll be like, why did you send me that letter? I don't want it anymore. But, <laughs> right. Uh, yeah. okay. Oh, OK, 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 OK. OK. Go for it, Dean. Go for it, Dean. You got these mouthfuls. <laughs> Motion to deny. Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed nay. Chair votes aye. Then all other licenses on this RO should be granted. And Amanda, you can vote on this one. I can? Yes, okay. because we already took care of the one you can't. Oh, You'll have some other ones you can't vote on later. But. Okay. This okay. will be number eight, right? Our own number. No, this, no. Is, no. this is the remainder yeah. of the license. Oh, oh I get it. Oh, the little. Okay. okay. All the extras. Along with the bad hearing is the bad sight. <laughs> Okay. Motion to approve all other licenses. Second. Is there any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Chair votes aye. aye. Um, right, so that passes. Yes. Now we're number eight. RO number 15, 22, 23, 15, 16, 22 by city clerk submitting various license applications um, change of premise. Yep. So these are all changes of premises and two of the businesses asking for changes of premise. There's like a whole bunch of different ones they're asking for. Uh, the ones being issued to the John Michael Kohler Arts Center and to Legend Larry's, we're recommending granting those contingent on their obtaining the street festival permit that just needed to happen yet before we could issue it. Okay. Make a motion granting them contingent upon obtaining a street festival permit. Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed nay. Chair votes aye. That passes. Then um, the rest of the licenses should be granted. Are you, are you not, are you're not affiliated with the Arts Center, Amanda? I'm not. Nope. Okay. Just bookwork. <laughs> Just bookwork. Just bookwork now. So do, do okay. we need to pass motion that? Motion to grant all the licenses on this RO. Yeah. Second. 
discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Chair votes aye. That passes. Number nine. RO number 1622-23, direct referral by city clerk submitting various license applications. All right, so um, this also has a number of uh, um, changes of premises and one sidewalk cafe. A couple things we just need to take care of separately as to the changes of premises being issued to Il Retrovo, we're recommending granting them contingent on obtaining the street festival permit, just like the legend Larry's been doing. So we should, we should do that one on its own, yeah. Yeah, okay. Granted contingent. Motion to approve granting upon tingent, contingent on obtaining a street festival permit. Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed nay. Motion. Chair votes aye. Motion passes. And, and second one on here, a change of premise being issued to time and a half. Uh, that one we're also recommending granting uh, contingent on obtaining street festival permit but also contingent on their confirming that they're going to maintain the required five foot walkway required by the Americans with Disabilities Act. Their map didn't have enough information and there is a small area of their sidewalk cafe that, it, or of their change of premises area that they're not gonna be able to put anything there. Um, last time it sounds like all they did was mill around and it'll be fine, but we just, we need that confirmation so that we are not issuing a, a license in violation of ADA. So we're recommending that you grant contingent on those two contingencies. Can I ask a question? Is this for one day or is this for? Yeah, this one is, I believe, a one day. It's either one or two. It, it's either one day or it's like a weekend. Okay. okay. It says a one day event to be held on 6 12 22. Yep, there you go. Okay. One day. Great. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, uh, I will make a motion to approve with uh, staff recommendations. <laughs> yes. All right, any, any discussion? All in favor say aye. 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 Opposed nay. Chair votes aye. That passes. Then we're recommending all other licenses and applications be granted on that RO. Motion to approve all other licenses on that RO be granted. Second. Any discussion? All in favor say aye. Aye. Opposed nay. Chair votes aye. Passes. And discussion regarding the time of future committee meeting. So there's two issues that we need to talk about. One is the four versus five o'clock thing. Mm -hmm. And one is when are we gonna hold the next meeting? And I'm gonna start with the second one first. Um, so the next meeting, because we have five Mondays in May, would not actually be until three weeks from today. You mean June? Start. June, well, yeah. There's five Mondays in May, so we're gonna have uh -oh. this extra week before we yeah. get to the yeah. first, the, the, the session in June. Yeah, June oh, 15th. Yeah. So there's no council meeting next week, it's no. two weeks. Okay. And then LHPS in three weeks. Um, because of that, uh, and because we're at liquor license renewal time, that's gonna be the last LHPS meeting that we can deal with a lot of this stuff. However, that also is when m both attorneys in my office cannot be here on the 15th because that's our um, annual conference. So we're hoping, because, you have, because we're gonna have some hearings, I mean, if it were just going to be you're grant, going to grant licenses, I would have just said, fine, just do it without us. Oh, you um, do that. Yeah, but you're going to have to have hearings. And so I'm, I'm recommending that you're going to probably have to find a, a different day to do that meeting. Um, and you can, do, you can do what you want. I know you normally meet on Wednesdays. If you met the Wednesday before, it would be just two days after the council meeting. Um, I don't know whether you only meet to do like required hearings and things like that at that time and, and hold the normal date on the 15th just for piddly stuff. Um, that would be one way to do it. So it's sort of what you're used to. Another way to do it might be to do it the day 
before, but I know a couple of you are in public works, and yeah, so yeah, no, we'd no. have to be done before you could get there. So that's potentially a problem. And especially if there's hearings, you never know how long those hearings. Right. Go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> we had never. never. <laughs> so that's kind of that's kind of our thought. It is um, instead of June, I think June fifteenth. June 15th is the normal day for the meeting. We're thinking maybe June 8th. Um, the, the, the only, and, and you could make actually make that for the most part your regular meeting date because the RO from the committee should be done and ready to go. It's just, we'll, we'll, it'll be a little quick for us to make the turnaround on the RO, but uh, we also try to make sure that this was the big one. Hopefully most people got in on this one and not the next um, one. Okay, so here's the thing. If we do it on the 8th, we move it to five o'clock. I, I have to leave at 5.45. Can't do that then, because we, we shouldn't do five o'clock. So if we do four o'clock, and if you think we'll not be done if with the hearings by 5.45. Why shouldn't we do five o'clock? We don't have to anymore because- No, we could do four <laughs> She has to be gone by 5.45, and if it's a hearing- I have then... to head out to Hoosburg. I have to be at Hoosburg by six o'clock. I, ha I can't miss this. I promise I'd be at his graduation. Because it's a hearing. Um, right, you don't want to miss. So I'm thinking of four o'clock. Four o'clock would be, you know, that should work. I would expect. You th would be done an hour and a half. I would expect so. Okay. Um, th these are not the two hearings that I expect we might have are not complicated. Okay. Okay. And it's two, not so far. Yeah, so far. I'm, although, yeah, if they haven't applied by now they've kind of missed their right to have a hearing so quickly. Whereas these people that, that there's, there's uh, the one that we talked about and then there's another one that we denied um, that will become, that the appeal will be coming through likely on or, that. Or could we move it to Tuesday the 7th? I will not be here. Uh, okay. We have a Carlson, I have a, I have a Carlson dead Okay. Oh yeah, that's the night of the FNP meeting on that. Yeah, yeah, there's going to be a lot of alders who are going to want to be at that. Yes, you're right. Yes, you're right. We have, to, we have to serve the people too before that, right? Yeah. So that, and yeah. I mean, we didn't even notify the one guy yet that he's getting denied. Right. And then he has to. It's going to be tight. It's going to be tight in any case, but yeah. Well, we could go what? to Thursday night. Anybody have anything on Thursday? I have Indiana Thursday the ninth. It's the last day of school. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I don't have kids in school anymore. I don't have to worry about um, it. And you, how the conference, you, you leave the, the we? 15th. Well, it's the it's it's Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, 15th, 16th, 17th. But the problem, of course, is being the 12th is FNP, the 11th is, or 11th is FNP, 12th is Public Works. Okay. And we can't push that an extra we're not allowed to make it another week right because do they have the right to because, have the hearing? yeah they have the right to have the hearing and then have the common council make a decision based on gotcha. your hearing decision yeah. before yeah. the end of july so the council has to meet okay. on july 20 unless unless there was a special meeting and i don't like forcing yeah. special meetings okay so we got to do the eighth but is it okay if she were to leave what would happen if we had some weird thing where we got a deadlock and she's gone, then what happens? A tie is, a tie? a tie means that whatever you're voting on fails. It's okay. like a defeat. Okay, I just wanted to clarify so we can make sure we all understood what would happen. Right. You know, because we, we have Joe, but then that still makes, you know, yeah. four. I mean, I, I could be here till five for trying to take an hour and 45 minutes. I think we would probably do the one that I think is a closer call first. Just so you could get it right, get it done. Okay. I think that's right. Yes. Okay. Because I don't want to get where we can't. Well, we yeah. can't make a decision, and we keep voting, and we keep coming up with a stalemate. That's what I was afraid of, so I wanted to double check. Okay. Just to make sure. So I'll the, be the tiebreaker. <laughs> so the eighth at four. The eighth at four o'clock. Okay. And then the other issue, and and then probably we won't need to then do the fifteenth at at four at all, or. Five. The other issue is then once we go in late later in the year, we had moved this back to four o'clock. Um, at this, you know, the idea being that I know last year we needed Betty for you for a while, and and then for uh, Alder Laster. Uh, but our understanding was we didn't need to do that anymore. 
Um, and the issue that we have, and I think the clerk's office has as well, is if we're five o'clock meeting, we have to we have to either pay overtime or give comp time. And the issue with comp time, and it's and it's come up in a couple of departments. Our policy is that comp time can only be given that week. Yeah. And that we and and if you find out that you know you're comp only time, finding out comp time can it's flex time. Comp time you can it can be carried. It flex depends. time not under the FLSA and not under city policy. It depends on the handbook of the company. Okay. They're always they're okay. all different. Most of our employees are covered by FLSA and um and then and all the people that would be involved so, with this other than me. Um so so we're suggesting four o'clock. And the, the other thing that goes with it with both of our offices is because this meeting falls on the Wednesday of the week after council, it also falls at the time that we're trying to put together the council agenda and go through documents. And so if suddenly we were to have, a, you know, and we were to go till, you know, from five till seven, instead of just four to six, we'd still have to play, four to six, we'd have to play a little bit with overtime, but we're adding more to that. And it is at exactly the time of the week, the time in the two week cycle, when we most need to have our employees have their full amount of hours because we're crushed already at that point. Do, can I ask a question? Do we have to start at the top of the hour? Like, could we even push it like 15 four. minutes? Yeah. 15, 15 minutes. minutes start at 4.15. 4.15 would be, 15. I would be uh, 4 15 right. would The be extra 15 awesome. minutes would actually make a big difference. Right. I'm, I'm, just, I'm off of work at 3.30 and it's... <laughs> yes, it's you can right. start it at 4.15. So we're allowed to do 4.15. You know, God forbid if they change schools again. I can't. I had one that was getting out at 3:45. That was the problem last year. Yeah. But now she'll be getting out at three. So I mean, it would be okay. Yeah. So my, I have to do by four. That's fine. And I understand the city. You know, that's not yeah. fair to you guys either. Yeah. I could. We could. So, I can make 4:50. If it's like really yeah. snowing in the winter, it might be really right. but I will yeah. do it. Make it work. Yeah. Is what like, happens if we're late? Is that like an issue? Like we're gonna. You know, a lot of meetings are short. For now, for my office, five o'clock is really the comp time issue, not four thirty. Okay. Um, because we've kind of worked it out to keep our office staffed through the noon hour. Okay. I do believe the clerk's office closes at four thirty. So um, any meetings that go over fifteen minutes, they might have to deal with it. But they're also, I mean, Kathy takes the minutes, not them. So right. Kathy, hundred percent, has to be here. Um, and they're up, you know, like. Melissa's not here today. I'm trying not to inconvenience you, but I'm trying yeah. to think, you know, if 415 would help you and you guys, you know, to help you really guys to not have to not be speeders and stuff trying yeah. to get over here. I definitely was yeah. not speeding on the way. No. <laughs> <laughs> Joe and I are both retired. Can I get an escort? Can we get a little light? If, if Wait, Joe and I can't be here, we'll let you know if you then you have to speed. Okay. <laughs> Would 415 then work for your office? I, th I think it works for us. Yeah, yeah. I mean, I like good. that IT is still here at that time because so yes. often yes. it's yes. issues. You're right. That is, a, sure. that is a good. Okay. Yeah. And they're here till 5? No, 4.30. IT's here till 4.30, so but they can, uh, once they get a stop. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. But Kathy's in here early um, yeah. getting it set up right. and stuff all the time. Right. So that's what she's looking at if she has any issues. So what I'm I hearing apologize is for four o'clock on June eighth, but then after that yep. we'll go to four fifteen. Yes, yes, please. Yes, please. Okay. And I apologize for the inconvenience last year with school and COVID. The way they were doing things was real weird, so we well, didn't have an early relief. But not even let someone else pick up your food. I had nobody. Right. Well, depending right. on the school, they didn't let you cross. Okay, oh, we're looking yeah, for a motion to adjourn because I think we've covered all the items now. Mm -hmm. Yep. Um, you didn't have to make a motion on this whole discussion about it's, time. it's really a discussion because okay. okay. she always has the control over what the agenda is. If she would just suddenly decide it's at 4 a.m., she could. <laughs> All right. <do> wow. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. oh, heck, no. okay. All right. I'm so move to adjourn. Second. Okay. All in favor say aye. 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 Close nay. I vote aye. So that means it's.